Hi Fußvolks, my name is Lynn. I am a Fußvolk player from Germany and the current world champion in women's doubles. Welcome to my Q&A special for my first 100 subscribers on YouTube. I'm very happy that I got a lot of feedback already and also good advice as how I can improve my videos. So I'm looking forward to answer your questions. Um, just let's start with the first question. Well, that's a very interesting question because I used to play chess uh, in a professional way. Um, I also played world championships um, and yeah, I think uh, the structure and systematic things are like kind of um, in my blood because I, I started playing chess with nine years and I didn't do a lot other stuff uh, in that uh, 10 years. Um, of chess. It was also an idol thing like um, when I watched uh, the five bar of Min Jung Bai, a German uh, elite player, um, I think the brush system uh, and the technique he, he showed me in his videos was like wow I want to do that too, I want to have that technique. So that's why I, I just started to practice it um, so that I can um, have, an, have a similar technique um, which allows me to do a lot of things. And also, if you know my, my game, um, I'm a very structured and systematic player and also an, an, an analytic player and uh, I just like the live reading, um, which, is very good, uh, which is very good possible um, with the 5 bar brush series um, because I, may, I have a very slow setup which allows me to, um, yeah, to read the defense from the beginning and uh, so I can just choose later in the game if I can do some uh, adapt adjustments um, yeah I also watch a lot of videos of elite players um, just to see how they structure their game like what do they do um, to to reach to reach that level and then I just yeah collected everything and found my own style on it but um, I think that's normal that you just look around and um, see what what you can do. In my opinion, it's always better to hold back quick playing because later, um, after you have a good read on, on the defense, for example, um, you can um, reward yourself later in the game with, um, with decisions which are leading to quick success uh, based on uh, knowledge and based on intuition, also like a mix of it. Wearing headdresses actually started um, because I hate that my baby hair here is tickling my face <laughs> while I'm playing. So I just started with some bandana stuff and, um, and then I, I changed to the head um, in the forward. Uh, with the cap in the forward position. I wear it like a half year or something. And then I was like, oh my God, I can't see anything when I'm playing um, besides, the, uh, besides the playing field. So I didn't like it anymore, so I turned it. And actually that's the story of the red hat, but uh, yeah, sure. It's a very um, interesting color to wear, um, but I really like it. But um, let's see if I will <laughs> wear it also in the future because um, my hair now is a little bit longer again. Um, yeah. Well, my biggest victory in doubles and singles, um, I mean, it's kind of obvious that, of course, winning the world championship with Lily Andres um, in 2019 was one of the biggest victories ever. Um, but uh, also the win, my, my very first tournament win was very yeah, it was very um, heartwarming too. It was my first, actually my first real tournament with Ekaterina Sabolescu. We played in 2018 the ITSF Masters Tour in Prague, which is a very great tournament. So if you didn't join that tournament yet, you should do that. Um, yeah, and we won um, in the final against Verena Roa from uh, Austria with her partner Sabrina Asleitner. It was a very Great game. Uh, I was very hungry to beat Verena Rora because she was uh, known as or is known as the best 
uh, one of the best uh, female players um, in the world. So uh, you can imagine I was super thirsty and um, yeah, when we finally won in the fifth set, it was really a really great feeling, I can't lie. In singles I didn't win. I didn't win like something big yet um, because I focused so hard on my on my forward position the last uh, two years and um, now I had the chance um, to yeah to put my focus also on the on the goalie position so that I can like try practice my um, two bar or two to five passing. Um, and also the defense and the defending things um, where I'm asking really good players how, how they defend so that I can yeah, improve my single game um, of course um, and I can't wait to use all those new things that I learned uh, in, a, in, a, in a tournament um, after, after all these um, corona uh, things. I hope you don't have so high expectations on that question because um, <laughs> I don't have like, yeah, I don't have like that song which I always listen to um, before a match or before a tournament or whatever. It's more, um, I'm more practical, I would say, like I'm very ambitious and trying to, um, yeah, to find something that is uh, leading me to my highest performance. So I started listening to autogenic training music. I don't know if you know those things which are going like, um, uh, let me think, uh, like close your eyes, um, your body is totally relaxed, your arm is starting to be very heavy. Uh, yeah, you know, that kind of stuff. And um, I try to um, recharge myself during a tournament when I'm not playing and I'm trying to, yeah, relax with this. It's kind of a mediation if you want. Um, and after that, when I know, okay, now in five minutes or maybe I have a call right now, um, I have to play, then I just listen very quick to very loud and fast music um, just to, you know, wake up uh, from all this relaxing thing. And then, yeah, and then I'm very recharged, right? Um, that's my, that's my song. <laughs> that's actually a really cool question because it's uh, relating to the mental strength. And I think uh, that my mental game really improved from 2018 to 2019 because uh, I also had a mental coach if you didn't know, um, Pablo Kisse is his name. Um, it was a really good time with him and I really enjoyed um, all the things I learned um, about mental mentality. Um, and it really depends on what is your opponent doing, like is he unfair or is he playing some mind games or um, is he just weird or just you don't like him at the table or her? Is it something he or she is doing or is it just because this person just exists, you know? Uh, it's just sometimes you, I think you know that um, it's normal that you have some people or players you just don't like from how they are. I mean like, okay, if they are arrogant or disrespectful or whatever, um, that's not okay, of course, but um, just sometimes it's just in your head, right? So um, this person is just standing there and actually it's really nice or something like that or neutral, but there's something on that person you just don't like. And the big question, of course, is how can you stay mentally strong on that, right? So um, I have a very good method I learned the last, yeah, one and a half years, I would say. I, I also use it very successfully, I, I think. I give you an example. So if, if there's a person you just don't like because it's in your head, right? So um, maybe it's nothing specific what your opponent is doing. Just the player is just um, how he do a specific thing maybe you personally don't like. Um, it doesn't matter if it's just a common thing or uh, if it's just in your own head. So you can just imagine like, um, yeah, before the match begins, of course, imagine this person and um, try really hard, even if it's not so comfortable, um, to find something that 
Yeah, that is similar to you maybe and also what you could like but you of course are, um, are judging before so you don't want to like it but you have to try it so uh, you try to find something on that person um, what you could like and then um, and the best thing is when you find something that is similar to you so for example I don't know if you are a type of person or a type of player who's very yeah fighting um, on the table and um, bringing a lot of emotions or whatever so if your opponent or the player is having like kind of the same character you can just like oh yeah this player is like me actually so we we are kind of similar so um, so that you can find some connection just for your head right so it's easier for you to um, play against this player and uh, to stay mentally strong I didn't think about that yet um, I, I mean uh, first of all there should be people who want to participate on that right so if there are enough people who are asking for it I think maybe I would do it but at the moment I don't I don't have that on my mind that's a cool question because um, yeah I have a I have a very very big goal um, it's like a dream um, like some players will now say oh my god this is like impossible but uh, <laughs> my belief is strong so um, and you need goals which are far away to know where you want to go so uh, I, I, I wish I could one day win the open doubles of the Leonard World Series um, yeah that's I think my biggest goal which I have right now at the moment and I'm also very excited to go to America to join the uh, IFP tour um, like Hall of Fame and um, of course the Tornado World Championship um, if I can uh, win there the women's field is also very big big uh, challenge because American women women are really yeah, really, really good on their home table. So um, I'm, I'm super excited. I, I had, I actually wanted to go this year to the Hall of Fame and play with Ekaterina, um, but yeah, you know what happened. So um, I just wait for next year, and um, I really, really can't wait for that. I'm a very competitive person, so um, playing forward is like, um, yeah, I'm. I'm I want to have the ball all the time so and you have the most affection on the game when you're playing forward and um, you have I, I really like to control the, the whole game you know to to have the main responsibility it's like yeah my thing I really love the high pressure right I, I'm really striving for this adrenaline this um, this feeling of um, yeah I would say death or life um, kind of um, it's just if you play forward you have more fire I would say um, of course you can be very on fire as a goalie too but uh, because the forward is more responsible for the for the game for the for winning the game um, it's like the pressure is a little bit higher so I really like the feeling of pressure and that's why I think I um, I cannot do anything else than playing forward. Thanks for watching this Q&A special for my first 100 subscribers. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and if you have more questions just leave it in the comments. Um, I think I can answer it there too.